coaxial cable. A solid conductor with radius A is supported by insulating discs on the axis of a conducting tube with inner radius B and outer radius C. So inner radius B, outer radius C, this is a conductor and there is a conductor inside. Uh, it's a cylinder, solid conductor. The central conductor and tube carry equal currents I in opposite directions. So the current is to the left for the uh, conductor inside and to the right for the uh, tube. The currents are distributed uniformly over the cross sections of each conductor. It's a uniform current distribution. Derive an expression for the magnetic magnitude of the magnetic field part A at points outside the central solid conductor but inside the tube A R between A and B and B at points outside the tube for R greater than C. Okay. So let me first look at points bet uh, between A and B. So I take an Amperian loop and I draw a position vector R uh, from the center. And this is making an angle theta with respect to the central axis. And I call this loop Amperian loop 2. So basically I'm looking at, uh, I call the scenario outside 1 inside 2. So A, R, B, R between A and B. I'm considering Amperian loop 2. So that's this Amperian loop, this loop. Now, using the right-hand rule, my thumb points, right-hand thumb points in the direction of the current, I see that my fingers curl in this direction, which is a counterclockwise direction. So I pick a DL vector in this direction. And what is the magnitude of that DL vector? It will be R D theta, right? So uh, I can connect this. To find the magnitude of the DL vector, it is going to be, this is going to be D theta, R D theta. So if I write Amperian, Ampere's law, closed path integral B dot product with DL. Now the magnetic field is only a function of R, so B comes out of the integral, and B is in the direction of theta hat. So let me note that B is B theta hat. That's found by right hand rule. And a uh, DL vector is R D theta in theta hat direction. So this is B closed path integral um, R D theta. Theta hat dot theta hat gives me 1. So that's going to give me B times 2 pi R which is equal to, according to Ampere's law, mu zero times the current enclosed. Well, the current enclosed by this path is just this I here. So mu zero times I. Therefore, I can see that the magnitude of this magnetic field should be mu zero I divided by two pi R, and it must be pointing in theta hat direction as found by the right hand rule. So I can see that the magnetic field B for R greater than A less than B is equal to mu zero I over two pi R in theta hat direction. I have defined the theta hat direction to be uh, the, uh, the direction of uh, counterclockwise rotations, the sense of counterclockwise rotation. So this is basically part A. 
Now, if I look at uh, an Amperian loop that's outside, that's Amperian loop one, outside the tube, uh, I can write Ampere's law, R greater than C, I'm considering Amperian loop one, Uh, the closed path integral b dot dl is now equal to uh, b times 2 pi r, which is equal to mu0 permeability of free space times current enclosed. What is the current enclosed? This is mu0. I have a current flowing in this direction and a current flowing in the opposite direction. So mu zero i minus i, which is zero. So I find that the magnetic field for R greater than, so magnetic field for R greater than C is zero. So there, uh, the, there is no magnetic field outside the conductor. So my conclusion is that a coaxial cable does not produce a magnetic field outside the cable. Outside the cable, there is no magnetic field. Okay, so we have considered a solid conductor inside a conducting tube, and they are isolated from each other by insulating disks inside that acts as a support for this. Uh, so there is a current flowing in this direction in the out inside a uh, solid conductor inside and the current flows in the opposite direction in the con conductor outside the, the basically the tube and what is the magnetic field for r between a and b well for r between a and b an amperian loop taken here at a radial distance r from the center uh, encloses only one current I, that's this current I that flows through the loop. So closed path integral B dot DL gives me magnetic field times magnetic field in theta hat direction that's found by the right hand rule. The thumb points in the direction of the current, the four fingers of the right hand curl in the direction of the magnetic field. Uh, so B comes out of the integral, but the DL here has a magnitude R D theta, that's the arc length. And uh, because the radius is a constant, integral of D theta uh, for theta between 0 and 2 pi gives us 2 pi R. So B times 2 pi R is mu 0 current enclosed, which is mu 0 I. Magnetic field in between A and B is mu 0 I over 2 pi R in theta hat direction. Magnetic field outside is zero because current enclosed is zero for this uh, first Amperian loop here. And therefore, we reach the conclusion a coaxial cable does not produce a magnetic field outside the cable.